Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. This is a game that has been eating up way too much of my time. My very rare free time. So I've decided if I'm going to play it, I might as well go ahead and record it. And while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and replay as the first country I ever played as in this game, like several months ago, when it first came out. I will play as Vijanya Nagar, or however you pronounce it. If you don't like mispronounced things, don't look at me videos. That was the... That was terrible. Let's go ahead and play. So... Europa Universe 4 is a game where you take a country that is completely and utterly historically accurate and skew history into your own way. So I'm playing as South India here. I'm basically going to call it South India because I don't want to mispronounce things that terribly. Some things are easy to pronounce. Timurids, already probably mispronouncing that. Tibet, or should I say Taipei? Uh, we're playing as Vijayanagar, or South India, and my goal for this game is to conquer all of India, and then go ahead and colonize a bit into Africa, and then over here into Indonesia, and make a way for myself in this world that is usually completely conquered by Europeans. And to do that, first we need to fully unite and unify the Indian continent. Now, this game is incredibly complicated. If you've actually played this game or watched Let's Plays of this game, this first video might be incredibly boring because I'm going to explain a lot of it. But if you don't know what's going on, you're not going to enjoy it as much. First of all, I'll speed it up because I always like it on the top speed. Uh, so, we're this country here. And uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. First thing that you'll want to do when playing this game in your first time is you want to look at the missions and it'll tell you oh well you can do this and this is a thing that you can do and it gives you like special um uh bonuses if you do it for example spread our culture to canera canera is this province here it does not have our culture it requires a hundred diplomatic power to make it our culture if something's not your culture then you get uh negative effects such as revolt risk tax modifier it's something I'll need to work on. However, I do not have the culture to do it yet. Another thing you can see in this, um, like, province screen is cores. Cores are things that we need to work on. Because if it's not a core, there's going to be huge problems. Let's go ahead and make Malvana here a core, because it starts as not a core. Apparently we were just in a war with some people, so that's why we have this. You can't really play this game, like, any earlier than 1444. So I don't know exactly what happened, but like I said, it's historically accurate. Bastar and Kathiawar have just uh, invited me into a alliance, but they are weak. I am strong. I don't want an alliance with these people, so I will decline. So first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to conquer these areas around us. Orissa is looking very delicious right now. However, I was just in a war with them, so I cannot do that. I will get out of the war in uh, approximately five years. So instead, I will start conquering these places here. Now, in order to do that, you can't declare war in a place with absolutely no reason. The reason is the Casus Belli. You want to have a reason to declare a war on somewhere, or else people will hate you. So... You want to make a uh, reason, and some way you can do that is through covert actions. You go ahead and fabricate a claim on Malabar, and you go ahead and fab fabricate a claim on Cochin. And we only have two diplomats, so we can only fabricate two claims at a time. And while that's happening, we'll just sit here and let time go by. Something we can also do is add in an advisor. Up here it tells you things that you can do, basically. This is a good thing to look at, the flags. It tells you, oh, there's a bunch of stuff that you haven't really done or, like, looked at yet. So, the advisors will increase our monthly power. Power, and, uh, uh, it's monarch power is what it's called. 
is something you get based off how good your king is. My king right now is actually pretty good. He's a good king. Uh, our our uh, heir is kind of eh, but we'll have to deal with that when the time comes. Uh, he's giving us a good amount of power per month, and this is based... Th th these, these points do certain things depending on what it is. Administration power is good for province stuff like increasing cores. Uh, diplomatic power is good for, um, you know, diplomacy. And military, you're basically only, go only going to use to make military leaders such as generals, which you don't need to do all that often. And also, technology. But, uh, I'll talk about technology later. Now, I'm Indian in this game. I'm not in real life. I'm a dorky white boy living in America. But in this game, I'm Indian, and that means I have the Indian culture group over here, which means that technologies cost more and my monthly power is decreased by one. While it's unfortunate this game is historically accurate, and people over in Africa did not become so technologically advanced that they beat out the Europeans. The Europeans have no deficits, they are all at 100%, while everyone else is at like 120 and more. Even the Eastern, 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 excuse me, Europeans, such as Russia, uh, have some problems going on. They have like 120% cost to technology. However, you can change that by westernizing. I cannot westernize now because I don't even know any Western people. Basically, you have to uh, go and create a core next to them, or they need to create a core next to you, and then you can westernize. It's a very difficult process, and I've only done it once before. They found out that I'm uh, trying to claim their province here, which means they do not very much approve of that. Oh, I need to make advisors. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put an advisor here, and an advisor here. Oh yes, trade. Trade is very important in the Indian uh, peninsula because this is what so, these are some of the strongest uh, trade nodes in the entirety of the world um, Trade is increased Through okay good. You are sending it in the correct location. There's nowhere else you can send it though. So that's good uh, Trade is important as it gets you money. That's obvious These are our ships I'll go ahead and uh, combine these two ships because there's not much else we're doing with them and tell them to protect the trade over in our main trade node of Celion. That will um, basically make our trade power there stronger, so it will be mostly ours. Yes, we are currently the strongest people doing in control of this, and therefore we get more money from it. Um, I usually focus quite a good amount on trade, because it's very important and gets a good amount of money. Uh, money is very important, obviously, for building buildings, which we can't do yet. We get buildings through technology. Um, up here is our manpower, which is how much army we have. Let's go ahead and uh, build to Indian cavalry. That will cost some manpower. Uh, stability is basically the revolt risk of your places, and it's improved through using up administration power. Alright, so we can declare war on Kochen now. They are allied with Venad and Malabar, so all three of these places are now allied together, I believe. Yep, they're all allied together so that we do not like, so that, you know, they can survive in the world. No, Bastar, I do not want to be your ally. <laughs> Go ahead and fabricate a claim on this as well. I'm going somewhat slowly because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to t uh, take over this place. I'm going to vassalize one of these places. Probably... Um... I guess I'll vassalize Kochen because they have the beautiful rainbow flag. But I will take Venad and Malabar under my control. Actually, no. I will, um... Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll uh, declare one Kochen, and then take Vinad and Malabar under my control. So, something you can do, there's two different things you can do to take control of provinces. Well, actually, multiple ways to take control of provinces. But you can declare war and forcibly take it, or you can make them your vassal, and after a while, annex that vassal into your kingdom so that you take control of it without having to spend any power. It's way slower, but in my opinion, way better, because until that time, you have them as an ally helping you in war. They give you money. They give you everything you need. The only problem is you cannot have too many vassals. Also, you can't vassalize huge countries. Like, this I cannot vassalize. I can vassalize Orissa. If they get any more places, I can't vassalize them. But right at this moment, I can. Just barely vassalize them. Um, so yes. Let's go ahead and declare war on... Actually, no. I'm going to wait... <laughs> I'm going to wait for my, um... For my army to get built a bit. It won't take that long. And then I'll rip through them. Also, I'm going to go ahead and make a general. Wow, that is a really good general. Holy guacamole. We're going to obliterate these guys. This is our standing army. You can also make mercenaries and things, but I don't use mercenaries all that often. And if I do, it's only an early game. Okay, let's declare war on... Well, let's move down first a bit. And then declare war on... Wait a second. You look at oh that's an important center of trade oh i don't i want kochen then okay so changes have been made to my plan i will declare on malabar instead and then i will take kochen and venad you cannot vassalize a place that joins in on the war you can only vassalize the place that you declared war on which is a little unfortunate but you know, what are you going to do when you live in a shoe? Let's go ahead and just take out all of their armies so that they don't deal any problems to my place. Um, split off, and you go there so that... Can you reach them in time? Yes, you can. Okay, go ahead and do that. Uh... Let's go ahead and take these places first. So, go away from Malabar and go to Vanad. This is going to be somewhat of a long war because there's three places we gotta take. Let's go ahead and just try and kill this guy. He can't take any of our places because there's only one of them and he's probably a mercenary, which means he's a bit weaker than the normal dudes, at least I think. National institutions. More people are requesting representative and national institutions. Uh, we could lose one stability, which I always prefer to keep above one stability. Or we can give them what we want and lose some. Let's go ahead and lose some uh, diplomatic power and such. I'm going to go ahead and start transferring my culture around. Zoop. Did I take the... I didn't take a mission. There are no current missions. Wow, that's... I've never had that happen before. I've literally never had have, have that happen before, and I've played this game quite a good amount. We go ahead and increase our uh, yearly prestige, which is just another kind of score that we can get. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It increases a bunch of good stuff. Or we could lose some prestige, but this costs us money and some administration power. But I'm going to go ahead and take it. I know a lot of people who consider, like, prestige kind of eh, and this is super important, but I like to keep everything a little bit balanced. And to be fair, this these are incredibly important, so... You know, I can, I can understand where they're coming from there. How is our place doing in... Okay, it's kind of close to becoming a core. It's 
if you don't know what I'm looking at, that's okay. I'm just going around looking at a bunch of things. Oh, we're close to our force limit. That, that's basically how many, uh, how much army we can have raised before it starts costing us extra. It still costs us to keep the army up and running, so... Alright, Vanad. I have you under my control. Um, oh, do- have I fabricated a claim on you yet? No. How long is that gonna take? It's going to take a little while, but not that long. So I'm just going to wait because it, um... It doesn't cost as much if I want to, uh... <laughs> He's trying desperately to help his friend out, and that is not going to work. Okay, but I can take Chokken, so I will do that. Or Chokken, you are mine. This makes a lot of people around me dislike me a good amount, but the only people who I really care about who will dislike me are the people who are about to die. So, that doesn't matter. You are mine, good sir. Alright, this is my new core. Let's go ahead and... Well, I, this is my new province. Let's go ahead and core it up. It'll take a little while, and until then... I'll have some revolt risks going on. Vanad probably is like, hey, uh, we'll just give you this place. Please stop torturing us. No, they'll just... No, I want you. You will be mine. One day you'll be mine. Um... Alright, Orissa. How long do I have? I have, uh... Yeah, another year. Okay. So let me just go ahead and work on this place first. And Vanad, are you almost... Hmm. He's still trying. He's like, please, just take my money. I don't have a lot, but I will give it. Please! No. You will be mine. So, in order to become India, we need to have a technological... Like, a, a, a administration technology of 10. Let's look, we can look at what we need to do here. It's called Hindustan, but it's India. We need to have a lot of places, have a stability of at least three, and own, own quite a good amount of cores, be at peace. Oh, we don't need, okay, so it's different for India. You'd think, I did it one bef once before, but it was a while ago. I mean, you'd think I'd remember that. For a lot of them, you do need uh, to be at level 10. I've been playing Russia and Germany recently, and you need to be at administration level 10 in order to form Russia and Germany, because they are not currently formed at the beginning of this game. There are so- there is so much to do in this game, like, so many countries you can play as, so many different ways to play the game, it's just such a good game. And if you're- and if this looks interesting to you at all, I'd highly advise you get it. It's just a really good game. <laughs> Um, let's just let him stay home, because basically I was like, you can get another advisor to show up, but I don't really need that. Alright, we now control Malabar. Okay, we have fabricated this claim, so let's go ahead and full annex. It'll cost us some diplomacy and stuff, because that's not what we went to war for, but whatever. Vanad, you are mine. And you, my good sir, are my vassal. Let's go ahead and have you give me all of your money and transfer your trade power while you're at it. That gives us more uh, prestige and such. And also, of course, trade power, which is always nice. So, Zaboof! We now control the tall bottom half. I'm, yeah, about half. Maybe like a third. Yeah, more like a fourth, really. The bottom part of India. We are probably the strongest of India right now. These guys are kind of terrifying, but not that terrifying. Also, this place is ours, and we're going to take it sometime soon. Uh, <laughs> just, just saying that. We even have a uh, thing that's like, protect your brethren in Raichar Dob. I'm going to totally mispronounce everything. Um, they're allied with Bengal and Malwa. That's a little upsetting. We're going to need to get some allies. Uh, these guys will not be our allies. The Timurids would be okay to get his allies. Um, Bengal would be okay to get as an ally, but maybe not. I do want to take them over eventually, obviously. Uh, 
Tibet? No, you're kind of weak. You're also a republic, huh? We are a um, monarchy, as most countries are. You can be a monarchy, a republic, or a theocracy. All quite interesting. So I don't really want to declare war on the Bahamans right yet, because they are, um... They're allied with some strong people, and while I am strong, you know, I do want to be a little careful here. Alright, so while everything's going in a, in a bit of a peacetime, I'll go ahead and decrease my army maintenance and move my guys to Mysore. Actually, what has the highest? I'm going to move them down here to the NAD so that they decrease the uh, revolt risk. Let's go ahead and also change the culture there, and make this a core. Boof! Now everything is on the way to just, like, even out. Basically, I like to play this game in kind of cycles where I'm war warmongering, then I try and get my place up, and, and, like, to a level where it's equal the amount of provinces I have. Then I warmonger and get more provinces. Then I level it out. Then I, you know, that, that, all of that. Falkin is now my core. That's awesome. Alright, we can declare... Oh, wait, no, not yet. Almost. It's by the end of this year. Malabar does not like us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to improve our relations with Malabar. Spread our culture to Razal Razal Ghul. Where? Where's Razal Ghul? I have no idea. Oh, it's right there. Okay. It was just like sideways and hard to see. As I said, this was the first place I played as. But when I played as this place, I kind of had an eh goal in mind, which was just take over India and then go to Australia. That's still partly my goal, but I will be going to Africa first. And that's so that I can beat the Europeans and uh, westernize, because I was really far behind. Oh, I might not win this battle. So as you can see, we lost that battle, but that's only because of low morale, not because we like got our asses kicked or anything. Let's increase our army maintenance. Uh, not that much. <laughs> About that. And send our people back. Now they have a good enough morale to uh, beat down the rebels. We outnumber greatly. We still lost some guys, which means that it'll cost a little bit extra per month to, you know, set them all back up through our manpower. Mewar still wants... Oh, wait, no, this is a different place. Where are you, Mewar? Hmm. Still a little bit weak. No, thanks. I might want to... Oh, th these are different places. <laughs> they, they're the same color, so it looked like they were the same place. <clears throat> okay, we can now declare war on Orissa. They're allied with Nepal, Kachar, and they have the vassal of Garjat. Let's go ahead and take our core from them. So, increase our army maintenance, and move on up to meet them in combat. Our vassal has absolutely no army, which is moderately unfortunate. They're apparently very uh, happy about this, though, because apparently our armies are way better than Orissa's. Basically, through this, this, I didn't really explain war. This is the, uh, war like, a uh, chart here. You can see who's on their side and who's on our side. So it's just us and our vassal versus them and their vassal. We can vassalize them if we have 94 war score. However, to get 94 war score, well, to get that much, we're going to have to take over literally all of them. <laughs> Which will be a little, little difficult. Let's have our guys stop um, protecting trade and just sit here. Now, I'm not too afraid of his armies, because they seem to be rather weak. 
The only problem is this asshole. Send them down. Rebels are always weaker than um than most than normal armies. So oh maybe not. Holy crap! Got my ass handed to me. Stop with that! Goodness gracious. Okay, Kanara is now how we want it to be. Okay, that was mighty unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, what what are they at currently? Okay, they're getting close. Maybe I should have waited for them to uh, become a core before I actually attacked Orissa. That might have been a good idea. Oh my god, if I lose this battle, this will be... Okay, that's a lot better. Let's go back and try and declare war on this place. Well, not de try to declare, declare war, but actually beat them across the face. What do these guys want? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they want. But... I'm tempted to go over there and help, but I'm also not because I want my guys to actually take this place. We can create a proper fleet to increase some prestige and such. I'll go ahead and do that. Because we are kind of close to already having a proper fleet. Roughly halfway there. So let's work on getting some barks, which are the most important of the uh, ship type, I, in my opinion. Basically, with ships, there's four different ship types. We don't have access to one of them yet because we are of a terrible technological standing. Oh, that's why Orissa is um, currently kicking the ass of them by having their stuff there. Okay, it's part of my patrimony, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Well, Malabar just got completely taken over by peasants, probably asking to decrease taxes. That's usually what peasants want. Ooh, my enemies to the north are getting their ass kicked. They're still getting their ass kicked. Alright, we have finally won the siege. But we need to take the, out these uh, four places as well. Wow, we already finished that mission. Awesome! Obviously, I rock. Let's go over. <laughs> Could I have said that in a more white way? Obviously, I rock. And roll. Word to the homies. Okay, this is my army now. Well, my fleet. I have no idea where Orissa's fleet went, but let's go ahead... And go here so that we can increase, um, it increases the war score if you, uh, have ships across coastal provinces and also increases the rate of which siege occurs. Oh, Orissa's kicked my ass. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Let's get a lot of, of, I, where the hell was their army? Okay, let's go ahead and get a bunch of, um... What are they called? Mercenaries here. To help fight them off. Okay, good. They're not actually working towards, um... Attacking my guys. They're just trying to siege their place back. But it's my place now. I took it fair and square. If you find this game a little bit boring, I apologize. It is quite strategic. It's like a civilization kind of game. And those are kind of iffy to Let's Play, but there's so much you can do. Oh, I ran out of money. When the hell did that happen? Oh, I must have too many people. Okay, well, as soon as I defeat this guy, I'll go ahead and disband a lot of my... um. Mercenaries. Oh yeah, because I've I've greatly gone past my um Okay, chase him. 
I've greatly gone past my, uh, war... What is it called? Okay, we have completely obliterated them. Now, let's go ahead and, uh... Go to them. Can, can you, can you not? Go back. Okay, that's how you do it. Get out all the mercenaries. You're right there. Wow, these are the only not mercenaries. That's a little unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate. Um. Okay, let's disband at least some of the mercenaries. Create a new unit, which will be these guys, and disband them. You will stay there, and you will start taking that place. Alright, will that stop my money from going down? Barely. We will have to repay this loan. Oh no, my money's going back down. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's because it's costing me uh, money per month to increase my army again, right? Okay. Oh, here's some more dudes. Go there. <laughs> some more dudes! We can lose two war exhaustion, which would be nice, or increase army and navy power, basically. Uh, what is our current war exhaustion at? It's at seven, which is incredibly high. Let's go ahead and lose that. It's because we lost a pretty big battle in most of our troops. When you're playing as an as an Asian country as opposed to a European country, you will find a lot of things are different and in many ways more difficult. Um... For example, our technology is pretty whack. As another example, uh, our armies are much weaker. We started with only 12 dudes. France starts with like 30 or 40 at this point in the game. They have like the most. Uh, oh my god, Arisa, give up. Give up with that noise. I will continue to kick your ass and whatever pops up. I wish we would besiege these places way faster. Wow, you are like almost completely taken over except for the one place I want. Oh, and one other place way up there. Okay. I guess that works. That works. Nyerp, nyerp. Mac, mac. Okay. So they're expanding. Oh, it's split into two. Uh, this is what usually happens. This is what happened last time as well. Ahmed Nagar appears, and they become somewhat of an ally, but then they are, they're probably going to become assholes later on. So I'll need to take care of them somewhat soon. Um, let's go ahead and send you down there. Let's split off a small group to help take this. Because I'm getting tired of this war. Honestly. After this war, after I vassalize these guys, I'll go ahead and uh, end the video. And you guys can tell me how you thought about it. If you'd like me to continue, go ahead and comment in the comments saying, Hey, I'd like to see how India does. If you're like, hey, this is boring. Stop playing it and go back doing something else. I will try. Although, I will keep playing this game. And uh, I might as well record it while I'm, you know, actually playing it. And, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy this and after I finish with it, I might move on to other countries as well, so we'll see how everything goes. Because there are so many countries in the world, man, and so many things I want to do. God, this music is really, really just, like, pumping. I don't want to use the word epic because it's overused, but man, it is pumping. Oomph. Alright, we almost have it. The eyes have it.
Orissa will be mine! Orissa is giving me a peace offer, which is probably, I will give you your thing. Oh, they're ceding a lot of places to me. No, that's not what I want. That, that will decrease our di diplomatic power and increase our uh, overextension by a lot. And we're already having a lot of people not like us. So, let's just go ahead and say no to that. <laughs> Malabar likes us a lot now, which is nice, because we need them to be at 190 to, va to annex them. Alright, we have fully gotten these guys under our wing. So let's vassalize them, have them give us a lot of money for repairs to our country. And cancel vassalization to you? I don't know if you can do that. Okay, well, Zoop is now under my control. They have a tribal federation. I have... N I don't... You don't see that very often outside of, uh... Outside of, like, the Americas. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well then. They're now mine! <laughs> so, we control a good amount of India already. It's been about ten years, and, uh... We'll soon be... Ooh, an alliance from you. I'm going to go ahead and say... No. <laughs> that was a little bit too, like, epic. Let's go ahead and... Oh my god, I just said that word. That's the bad word. Let's go ahead and protect trade with Cilion. And get rid of all these dudes that I do not want in my army because they cost us too much. Oof. Oh, did I not even put... I don't even... I did not even put my dude on there. That would have been way better of a war if I had actually remembered to put on my super amazing general. Remember, kids, if you want to play this game well, don't play it like me. Cilion, you're looking quite delicious down there. I may want to declare war on you someday, but not right now. For now, I'm somewhat happy with how things are going. I want to increase the army of my place and make it a little bit more fair and uh, strong because it's I kinda got my ass half kicked in that war. So I'll go ahead and set up some uh... oh right I also need to pay off my taxes I mean, not my taxes my loans. Don't forget to pay off your loans kids! So I'll go ahead and increase the army a bit. One cavalry for every two soldiers because if you have um cavalry that's above, like, if you have 50%, 50 percent of cavalry is as much as you can have. If you have more than 50% of cavalry, it starts giving you problems. So, don't do that. Unless you're playing as special people. Such as the, uh, hordes up in the top right here. Ooh, we've kind of discovered the Chinese here. The Ming Dynasty. That'll be someone interesting players. I haven't played those, them before. Would you stop it? Like, I don't want to get into an alliance with you. Freaking stop. <laughs> the only place I really want to get an alliance with that's anywhere near here is the Timurids. Maybe, actually, these guys. These guys would be good allies. For right now, I will go ahead... Oh, I. it's going to be difficult, but I'm going to improve relations with them. Basically, to get in an alliance with someone, you need to have them have a positive opinion of you, but you also need to have a positive opinion of them. And a few other things, for example, like they don't like that we're not the same religious group and that we have a distance between borders. So they still wouldn't actually say yes. But I'm going to still improve relationships because John Poor seems incredibly powerful for this early on in the game. Uh, smaller countries will get obliterated as the game goes on, and that's for everywhere. And eventually by the end of the game it'll just be like a lot of strong countries picking on the very few small countries and occasionally smashing into each other and causing great death. All right. Well, I do believe it is about that time, my friends. It's about the time for me to end this video and call it a day. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to tell me what you thought of it down in the comments below. If you didn't enjoy it, Tell me anyway. Uh, 
Write, comment, subscribe! Ugh. You know, it always feels like everyone does that at the end of their videos, but for me, it almost feels rude to just be like, you know what you should do? Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I think a lot of people also find it rude. So if you do, actually, I'd like to know that. Tell me down in the comments, is it bad to be at the end of a at the end of a video you should comment rate subscribe me and spread my views and everything and uh yeah i hope you guys stick with me for no more europa universalis 4 it is sure to be a blast see you all then